Hey guys, um, here we go with video number two on crafting. It is NYX from 690 um, on GOTC. And yeah, we're actually going to start crafting instead of just listening to me talk and stare at my screen for 20 minutes. Um, so if you sat through that whole video, way to go. That's a chant move. So no matter what you're crafting, whether you're crafting wearables, armory, or anything, you're going to have to start with templates, except trinkets. Trinkets are done differently, whole different beast. So today we're just going to pretend like we are crafting up for, or for whatever, um, because it starts the same. We are doing this from my account on 674 because I have so much more stuff there uh, to work with to show you, and it's a little less risky. So templates especially as you get into the higher levels, you are going to need lots of templates. Like, I don't mean 20, 25, I mean hundreds. Um, the success rate on them is not great. Um, some people swear that they will not craft uh, these things out of or inside events because the fail rate is so high. I personally always craft out of an event for that reason. Um, so we're going to start by just rolling up a batch of 10 templates and we're going to take it to level 15 just so, for the sake of speed. Um, some people like to craft up all the same templates. Some people split it up. Once you hit house level 40, you can use this guide, uh, which I have saved on my phone. It's in our gear and armory channel on the demon discord um, to actually get yourself... Uh, 264 legendary level one templates out of one big pack of materials that will contain 2.5 million of any single basic mat. This is, this is the goal when it comes to crafting. This is where you want to be. This is what you want to do. But 40 is a long grind. So we will tackle that when somebody is actually creeping up on level 40. Um, all right. Let's go. So small batches. We're going to start just by crafting up a few wooden buckets. Um, I'm going to do a variety here just so I can kind of show you guys how I split them up. Um, I like to just keep the spending across the board even so that my mats are always close to the same amount. So we're going to go and we're just going to do three or four of these guys. Oh, and the first thing we're going to do is make sure we have the right gear on because I do not, I do this all the time. So my crafting gear that we talked about in the last video. Yeah, that's a thing. And because I have quite a fair bit of gold, we're just going to make this quick and do it with gold. Uh, um, so there's one. We do legendary, legendary guaranteed with this roll. There's two. And again, we do legendary guaranteed with this roll. There's three. Okay, I've got my three wooden buckets. Now because I like to keep it even, we're gonna go over and we're gonna do a sword, a dagger now. And again, legendary guaranteed. One. Legendary guaranteed. And I mean, honestly, this is super boring. I like to do this when I'm like just chilling, uh, watching TV. Sometimes I get annoyed and I'll get somebody else to do it for me. Um, it's not my favorite thing to do, but it is a necessary evil. So we now have six level one templates. And we're going to go here. Um, buckets. Daggers and rings are actually my favorite pieces to use for level one templates. I don't know why, they just are. And we'll do two more. So you can see here, I just pumped out a whole bunch of legendary, legendary level one pieces. We now have nine, good enough. Okay, so now we're gonna bump these up to level five. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. These are going to be all 
legendary guaranteed rolls. And we do it this way um, just because it's not that expensive to do a guaranteed roll for legendary level 1, 5, and 10. After 10, it does start getting pricey, and that's where we start applying the gamble up method. I have so many materials. Um, so that's where we'll actually start gambling. Some people like to use the pattern method. Uh, personally, not my favorite. I don't use it. We do have some members who swear by it. Power to them. I'm not going to be teaching that method. So here's, you know, same thing. Uh, you can also use speed ups to do this if you want. Six one, half dozen of the other. I tend to save my speed ups for when we're a little bit bigger. Um, and, sit and not use my gold then. This is an inconsequential amount of gold, so it doesn't bother me to use it for this purpose. And we just burn through doing it like this. I'm not going to go through and do all of the templates just for the sake of brevity and keeping this quick because the last video was so lengthy. Um, so there we go. We've got our three rings that we crafted up. Now we're going to bump up and we're going to go to level 10. Now one of the things when you're crafting templates and you're choosing your templates, you want to make sure that the stuff that you're picking as your template to the next level isn't something that you're using or wearing because it will sometimes show you stuff in this list that you don't want to use. Like that's my uh, Tabo's hammer from 674. Um, that's another piece that I'm not sh entirely sure should be there. Uh, so yeah, you just want to keep a real close eye on that. So as you can see, I've already done a bunch of template crafting because this is something that I do when I'm bored. Um, or, you know, sometimes other people log into my account and do it for me because uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, so yeah, ideally when you do this, you don't want to be going in with 10 or 20. You want like a batch of 60 to 80. Um, 80 is sort of my minimum when I start batch rolling, just because it really triggers the algorithm to get me th good results. Um, so yeah, we'll just, sorry, go from here. And we're going level 10, so we're going to go guaranteed. And we're going to go guaranteed. And sure, we'll use that thing. So now we're starting to get a little pricier on the gold cost to do this. Typically when I do this, I would do this for all of these level 5 templates, but I'm not going to make you sit through that. Um, and I won't move to level 10 until I've done this for all of the level 5s. So next we're going to move up to level 15 and we're going to start gambling. Um, this is where it starts getting a little stressful. The lower the levels you are when you start gambling, the higher the success rate you're going to have. Around level 25, your success rate really drops and you're going to start seeing more popping more purples and oranges over yellows. Um, that's okay. That is just part of the game. So when we gamble, we don't want... we. Gambling means taking a chance, that you know you're, there's a good chance you're not going to win every time, so this is how we do it. At level 15, we gamble with purple mats. Now you'll notice this whole way up, I am not using anything that requires advanced materials. Everything that I am using, require, it takes only basic materials because my advanced materials just cost so much. They're just so expensive. I don't want to waste those. I, I want to preserve those for the highest possible level that I can get to. Okay, so level 15. And well, it's starting to get spendy. So this is where I usually start using gold to do this or I start using speed ups to do this instead of gold. And how did we do? Oh, legendary, excellent. So now we'll go over here and we'll, I jump around a lot doing this uh, just because it saves me time having to scroll through everything. So we're going to gamble at this level 15. We're going to make it a level 20 now. And again, we're going to go all the way to the bottom because these guys at the very bottom, they actually don't require any basic materials or any advanced materials. You'll see here, these all take two basic materials and a template. This is the cheapest way to craft high level gear. So again, we're going to go to purple. 
we're going to go to purple and we're going to grab that template scroll all the way down and we're going to hope this guy pops properly okay so three hours 57 minutes again i don't wait these out i find the faster i burn through them the better my results are i don't know if that's like we popped purple on that that wasn't great but it's going to happen we're not going to get it every single time let's see what we've got for level 20 templates that i can use here Ideally, you're always shooting for legendary results, but purple and orange are both acceptable. So if you notice these guys, these all require three materials, and then you've got this one that only requires two. So the two is the one we're going to use. Um, let's see if we have anything. No, so I'm out. So now I have to go back and I actually need to craft up some stuff. Uh, I need to upgrade some stuff so I have templates to work with. I don't have any right now and that's problematic. Uh, one of the things that we do um, is when we get fails, so these level 15s, I'm not going to use these. I only want legendaries at level 15. That's it. I do not want anything under a, leg under a legendary for the purposes of crafting up. So I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to upgrade these. And now I've got another legendary. Um, now I'm going to use that to make a level 20. And we're going to hope that this guy pops legendary so I can move up to level 25. It is a lot of backtracking. It does get really frustrating. When you start failing a lot, it's totally okay to walk away. Um, like if I get more than three fails in a row, I just shut my smithy down. I go do something else for an hour or two and then I come back to it. That's totally fine. Um, it's not recommended to keep pushing because your smithy is a cranky ass bitch. Excuse my language. <laughs> he is a miserable individual and he wants to screw you. So it's better just to walk away. So we're going to give this another try. And you know, this is something that it's it's worth it for the speed ups. See, my smithy's being miserable today. So let's have a look and see what I have for higher level stuff just so I can move up and show you guys. Um, not a whole lot. Okay, we've had enough fails, so we can just do an upgrade here. Alright, well now I've got a level 20 that I can gamble up with. That's okay, I can make that work. Um, especially since I'm only doing this for templates to show you guys. Again, usually I would just leave that there, and I would just keep working with legendaries, but I'm not going to craft that much because it just makes the video too long. Um... Move over to rings. The other thing that happens a lot is I forget what I have or what I just bumped up, and I gotta go check again. So we're crafting a level 25. And again, all the way to the bottom to find the pieces that only require two basic materials. All those guys require threes. If I have an abundance of materials, I will sometimes use those um, just to get the mixture going, but I definitely prefer the things that require two. I can't remember if it's at level 25 or 30 that everything starts requiring three, but it is. it might be 30, 25. Mm, looking like it. All right, well, good enough. We'll give this one a go. And this is the stage where, like, there's it takes so many materials to do this. Like, as you can see here, it's 80,000 materials to make this um, into purple. 
so I really want to start getting stingy with my spread. I've got a good amount of all of these, so we'll just give this one a go. And purple, and purple, and template. Cool. Forge. This is, yeah, my smithy's being a jerk tonight. So you guys get the point of gambling up. Like, for this account, anything that I'm crafting is going to be level 35. So I'm going to go through that, uh, that process right until level 30. And then when I go to get my 35s, that's when I'm going to look at using these. So um, at 35, when you start gambling 35, instead of using all purple materials, you're going to use blue materials and you're going to, uh, just because it does get so costly. Like if I want to do, make these purple, I need almost a million and it's just too expensive versus going to blue. I only need 192,000. Um, so that's rolling templates. And like I said, you want to do this for as high up as you possibly can. Uh, when it comes to your wearables, you want to get your wearables to be about level 20, 20 to 25, and then not craft again until uh, 30 to 35. Um, for armory, don't start crafting anything until 35. And we will go into that later, but it's got to do with your collection level and getting the appropriate boosts happening. Um, it is very confusing, so I will do this again with you guys at some point when I have more, more materials and the video won't be so lengthy. Um, we'll probably do a, a live or something so you guys can get an image of it. Um, and like I said, ideally you want to be doing this with a few hundred pieces uh, instead of just the one. Like I would be getting better results if I was rolling up several at a time. Um, but the basic gist of it is until you are on the level of the piece that you are going to use, whether it's a wearable or going into your armory, you want to always be using the recipes that only require basic materials. The only time you want to use advanced materials is when you are ready to craft the highest level piece that you possibly can. And that's where she stands. So again, this will be posted in our Discord channel. Pop your questions in and I will do my best to answer them. Um, it is a very complex process, so if you need help with it, like totally ask me to get into VC. Um, I will walk you through it. Uh, there are a few of us who do know crafting quite well um, who can help you through this. It is not an easy process. Um, so our next video is going to talk more about how to utilize those mats and, and when to, uh, when to apply your, um,